hi, I didn't see you there, I was taking a selfie. Welcome! Welcome to Insider Tips. These videos are my interviews with awesome industry professionals to get inside information about stuff that people don't usually get to find out about and pass it on to you guys. Today is an interview with Nick Samadis, famous international photographer, and I'm going to find out for you how to take a good selfie and how to take really good photo of you with your friends. Everyone's taking selfies these days, because I don't personally take selfies, like... <laughs> I don't. Not me. Awkward. Okay, so just to give you a bit of background, Nicholas Samaras is quite a big deal. <laughs> so he's well known for his incredible celebrity portraits as well as his fashion photography. American Vogue, Vogue Australia, Vogue Japan, Harper's Bazaar, Grazia, Elle, GQ. He's worked for really prestigious brands like Christian Dior, Alexander Wang, all the major department stores, Bloomingdale's, Nordstrom, David Jones here in Australia, Tiffany & Co, Max Factor, um, VCVG, Max Azria, and the list really goes on. He's done so much work and has been in the industry for years and years. The supermodels that he's photographed include Giselle Bunchen, Mila Jovovich, Dutz and Crows, this, the Victoria's Secret model, Claudia Schiffer, Naomi Campbell, Mila Jovovich, Raquel Zimmerman, Carolina Kurkova. He's photographed a number of famous Hollywood actors and actresses, including Kira Knightley, Anne Hathaway, Gerard Butler, Naomi Watts, Katie Holmes, Ashton Kutcher, and Eva Longoria. There's a list like this long though. <laughs> As you can see from hearing about all the people he's photographed and the brands and magazines that he, his work has appeared in, that he's a pretty big deal, basically. So um, he really knows his stuff and he's one of the best people possible to ask about this topic, how to take a good photograph. So let's go catch up with Nick at his awesome new studio, Samara Sindaka. Come on! Beautiful, gorgeous Samaras and Ducker studio in Alexandria. It's the hottest studio in town, and here on the couch with me is Nick Samaras, incredible international, famous photographer. Oh, what a wonderful introduction! Thank you. <laughs> um, so, what's been happening today or this week? Oh, this week in the studio, it's sort of uh, baptism by fire, really. We've had uh, Jennifer Hawkins in for a shoot uh, yesterday. Uh, we're shooting a Leona Edmondson campaign last week, uh, and we've got a TVC going on in here um, in a couple of days. So it's busy. kind of busy. Yeah, yeah, very busy. Always busy. So you are famous for your awesome celebrity portraits and your fashion photography and everything. Do you have any images of the famous, the celebrities or the supermodels you've shot? Here? Allegedly, what a wonderful question. Uh, <laughs> as a matter of fact, I do right here. There's a little portfolio hanging around. Wow, amazing. You should have a look. Oh, I will, I will. <laughs> Ashley yeah. Judd. Ashley Judd. And uh, Mila Jovovich. Mila Jovovich. Australia's own Jacinda Barrett. Beautiful. Gwen Stefani, of Gwen course. Stefani. Emmy Rossum, star of Phantom of the Opera. Beauty. Katie Bosworth. Jared Butler. A very humorous Scotsman. One of the great American actresses, Evan Rachel Wood. I think she's really going to be huge. Beauty. Marlon Ackerman. More of Marlon. Love this. Look at her legs, amazing. Kira Knightley and Al Rada Mitchell. Kira Knightley. She's one of my favourites ever. Hmm. Beautiful. Very fun, very flirtatious. Wow. That's so cool. So obviously you've been doing this a really long time and you've had some pretty incredible clients and jobs and experiences. Seeing as you seriously really know what you're talking about when it comes to taking great photos. Sometimes. <laughs> um, how, what, in your opinion, how can a woman make herself look um, the most beautiful, how can she bring out her best look? Right, world? right. Uh, it's a very good question. I think it's a, it's a little conspira subtle conspiracy of a few factors. 
Uh, of course it's makeup, of course it's hair, and of course it's all that sort of thing. Mm. But really the true ingredient that you know, people like me try to reach out of the, the, the person that we're photographing is good old fashioned confidence. And however we can do it, whether it's lighting, whether it's with a kind word, whether it's um, uh, you know, getting the best home makeup team, whether it's playing music, and whether it's all of those factors combined, uh, it, you know, it sort of showcases somebody at their best. I'm sure when you're getting dressed, uh, you know, and maybe have half a glass of champagne and put your favourite shoes on and you're thinking about you're anticipating good. what's going to go on. It's kind of, uh, there's, there's a shine in, in through your eyes and that sort of thing. So we try to manufacture that. Um, and occasionally we hit on a, a good little uh, happy union of, uh, you know, working with a great team, because that's very important, and also igniting something in the person that shines through, right through the page, across the road, to somebody who's going to look at the magazine cover and buy it. So that's kind of it. Awesome. So that's the secret ingredient. Secret ingredient, Confidence. but don't tell anyone. Only your 4.5 million people who look at your wonderful <laughs> only you blog. Guys. So we're living in an age where everybody is taking selfies. So it's a phenomenon. <laughs> it is. Um, and oh, it's it's not the uh, me generation. It's the take a photo of me generation. Yeah. How's that? I mean, and everyone's doing it, and everyone wants to know how do I take a good selfie? How mm. do I take a good photo of myself? Um, you know, is it? Do I do a flash, no flash, mm. up high, down low? Exactly. How, do you, how would you suggest? There are a few uh, fundamental basics. I think uh, we, and I've said this before, we have a tendency to hold uh, our iPhones or, or similar smartphones up like it's a trophy and, and photograph ourselves. Very exciting, but the rule of thumb, I'd keep it at a 90 degree angle where you get sort of uh, your, your face, your features quite complementary. One thing to know about the iPhones is that the back has a flash which you, you want to use sometimes. Generally a flash is kind of great. Uh, and the other very dark secret of photography is the closer, don't tell anyone, the closer you are with light, the softer it is. Softer that, on the skin. The softer on the skin. Now it's very intuitive, uh, and intuitive because you think the, heart, the light's going to be too harsh, but it, mm -hmm. it actually complements the features. It's a softer light. And you know what I would do? I'd invert the whole argument. Uh, best thing to do is ask somebody else to take a photograph. As Nicholas said, flash, 90 degrees, not up high or down low. Um, try to get, you know, someone else to take it if you can, but if you can't, that's how you want to do it. And you want to do it from this, this side, like that, rather than that side, because it's high resolution. Take a lot. Take a lot of pictures. Uh, you know, take, you know, best I know, of ten. Best of ten, and edit down. I mean, that's what we do as professionals. We we take exactly three hundred pictures uh, and choose one, and yeah. and you know, people should know that. So just have fun with it, and it'll be a lot more natural if you just keep shooting. And I think that's the kind of the best advice that I can give. And it, it doesn't matter if you don't get it one go. Yeah. You, you know, there's an arc to taking a photo. The first five or six are not that great, and then you hit hit the good ones, and then you you know. So so just be free with it, and fun with it, and it's free. Say that you're out to dinner with friends mm -hmm. and um, you know everyone's pulling out their phones and now everyone wants to take a photo mm. and how's, what's the best way to get a really good group shot of you and all your friends? Um, look I guess it's, it's, it's just really all about having fun isn't it and capturing that moment and uh, I think you know on a professional level you know a good photographer is maybe a good storyteller or somebody who's a little bit self-effacing, a little bit silly and, and, and is, is generally having a lot of fun during the day. So I think, you know, the best photographs that I've looked back of friends, the, the, the quality is poor and people are doing silly things, but there's, there's interaction, there's hugging, and I think, I think there's, being tactile is a really wonderful thing in a photograph. Um, I would say uh, have a lot of fun, take a lot of pictures, uh, again with the, with the selfie thing. And the best, the best shots, I think, are three-quarter. You know, maybe just uh, you know, like an American Vogue cover style, where you just crop right. it here at the at the thighs. Okay, so um, that's better than say. I think so. Than, yeah, I think yeah. so. You get a lot more sort of, and there's enough information you don't need any more. You know, yeah. so I generally say that if it's evening, uh, there's lots of ambient light, lots of spotlights. If you're at a restaurant, they're kind of coming from everywhere. So I, I would definitely use a flash. Mm. Uh, but if it's if you have uh, some nice sunlight. Uh, the thing to avoid is midday sun, of course. Mm -hmm. You'd know that being a, a very, very good model. Uh, <laughs> it's apart from a, uh, a very successful blogger. But um, midday sun, very harsh shadows, makes people feel older, look older. So um, generally, morning light and afternoon light is the best, is the best uh, time to shoot. Can we do a selfie right now? 
We can give it a shot. We can give it a shot. Three, two, one. You look amazing. And action. <laughs> Take a hundred and then best of a hundred. I just took about ten. There you have it. Um, how to look your best in photographs courtesy of Nicholas Somatis. You can check out some of his amazing work on his Instagram page, Nicholas underscore Somatis. And yeah, thank you very much for thank today. You, and guys, remember to subscribe to the channel for more exciting interviews and insider tips like this one today. Thanks, bye. Oh.